Two of the Samoan leaders now visiting New Zealand call at the House of Representatives. They're welcomed by Mr. Schramm, Speaker of the House, and Mr. Osborne, Parliamentary Undersecretary. One chief, the Honorable Thomas Isi, is accompanied by his wife and Mrs. Mata Arthur. The Honorable Marie Tour is here, too, with his wife. A recent investiture ceremony at Rongatai sees Air Vice Marshal Isit decorated with the Legion of Merit degree of commander for services rendered to the Allied cause as commanding officer of the RNZAF in the Pacific. Air Commodore Buckley receives the same honor. For invaluable aid to the Allies, Air Commodore Roberts is awarded the Legion of Merit degree of Legionnaire and Colonel Salmon, New Zealand Army, the Legion of Merit degree of Officer. Rear Admiral Paul Hendron, who bestowed the decorations, stands in the center of the group. Children who attend the Wellington Dental Clinic find it a pleasant place, and today a visit to the dentist is often regarded as fun. Even the waiting room is inviting. It's bright and roomy. There are magazines to read, no copies of Punch, and toys for the little ones. There's no one here to say, you're next. Instead, an indicator shows when your chair is ready. Though the clinic is big, you find your way around easily. Inside, it's white and clean. There's very little noise. This is the biggest of the 428 centers in which the school dental service operates, which is in 15 more than last year. A student dental nurse attends each child, but her work doesn't go unchecked. Here comes a qualified supervisor who looks over every stage of every operation and marks the student's work. Permanent teeth, as well as baby teeth, are treated here. Both are equally important. Extractions are not as frequent as they used to be, which is proof of the work the service is doing. When an extraction like this has to be made, it's an operation carefully watched by a supervisor. Side by side with the work of the dental clinic is the work of the training school for dental nurses. Training girls for this service was once the subject of a public controversy. Today, the service is backed by the New Zealand Dental Association. The dental nurses are fully trained in theory and in practice. In addition to education, physical fitness and personality count in the selection of students. Here, the girls are exercising on the roof of the school. Since 1935, there has been a rapid expansion of this service. Once, it was a long way for the children to come in from the suburbs to the clinic in Willis Street. Now, clinics are being established in the schools themselves, like this one at the Miramar Central School. A neat, modern building, well-equipped and staffed by two nurses whose work undergoes regular inspection. Using foot-operated drills for better control of speed, they treat every child in the school. From preschool age and through the primary school, a child's teeth are treated free. Today, there are plans to extend the service further to adolescents up to the age of 19. This service is another safeguard of our national health. In the early morning, when the streets are still deserted and the day hasn't started for most of us, trucks are backing into the fruit and vegetable markets. They've brought their load of produce from up to 50 miles away and some arrive as early as 5 a.m. They must be unloaded quickly to let other trucks in. Cases must be marked and stacked. Buyers inspect cases of celery and spring onions and leeks. Beet and fruit and lettuce. They calculate what a case is worth to them.
Then, as the selling commences, they collect about the auctioneers. There's no waste time. They know what they'll pay, and it's no use trying to force the price. An auctioneer records the sales, gets ready for the next lot. Some buyers wander off to another auctioneer. It's busy, noisy, and lively. Flowers are being sold too, but their color and scent is just a background to the noise and bustle and keen competition. Great masses of spring flowers are reduced here to lots and prices and possible profit. You will see these blooms in florists, in the corner store, in Chinese fruit shops. Tomorrow they'll be buying again. This is a clearing house. It's just one of the many marts through which pass an endless stream of primary produce for the insatiable appetite of a large city.